good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? So today we're back at it with the Dan Electro Honeytone Mini Amp, and we're gonna see how well this thing can hold pedals. If you don't know, the Dan Electro Honeytone Amp is about $20 on Guitar Center, Rip City Guitar, or Amazon, or wherever you can get it. And when I did a full unboxing and demo of it last month, which you can go check out on this channel, I asked myself, I wonder how well this thing works with pedals. Which brings us to this stupid little test. And before I show you the pedal board, let me show you what else we're using first. To connect the guitar down to the pedal board, we are using the X Vibe Wireless Guitar Unit. And the guitar we're going to be using, of course, the Chapman Guitars MO1 Norseman, which is attached by a cable. Let's go down to the board. So as you can see right here is the other X5 unit, which goes straight into the TC Electronics Quintessence Harmonizer, going straight into the Boss Chorus Ensemble, which is upside down, because that's the only way I can make the wiring work. It goes right into the TC Electronic Flashback Delay version 1, and goes into the MXR Custom Badass 78 Distortion, into the MXR Custom Badass Modified Overdrive, into the uh, Dunlop 535Q wah pedal into the Polytune Mini made by TC Electronics, and I bet you're wondering, what is the Altoids for? Well, let me grab a pick. So I come up with a chronological order of how we're going to test the pedals. First we're going to start with the Chorus Ensemble pedal, I think this amp can handle Chorus well. Then we're going to go into the Quintessence Harmonizer, into the delay, and then we're going to test the wah pedal and then we're going to do our distortions and then we're going to turn everything on at once just to see how it sounds. But first, let's see how the tuner sounds. Tuner works wonderful. It's the most important pedal you can have on your pedal board. Also, in case you're wondering what the amp settings on here are, we have no overdrive. The tone is set for 6 o'clock and the volume will be set for 6 o'clock also. And this is what the guitar sounds like on the clean channel. We're going to be using the neck position. And now for the chorus. Sounds pretty nice. So now let's move on to the Quintessence Harmonizer. I have it set for the D minor. So here we are. here, let's turn the chorus on with it. So, by itself, it sounds okay, sounds nice. I do get a little bit of distortion from it. Then again, I am getting that from my playing, so... Depending on certain notes I play, that's what we get. Anyway, here we go with the flashback delay.
let's try the chorus and the quintessence harmonizer with a delay. Sounds okay with all that. Now let's go with the wah pedal. So let's turn the chorus, the harmonizer, and the delay on with the wah. Yeah, sounds good. If you notice, I left it up in the heel position. If you want me to do what, uh, the toe position, here's what it sounds like. You're just in the toe position. Alright, so let's turn all of those off. And now let's get into the fun stuff, the distortions and overdrives. So I think right now we'll do the overdrive first. Right now I have it set to a nice crunch setting. And then we're going to go into some 80s metal. So, this should be fun. And also, if you noticed, there's no sound coming through the amp right now. If you remember in the review and demo, there was a bit of fuzz coming through. Now there is nothing. Probably not until now. So... So now let's turn some want and delay on just for now. We'll get into everything else a bit later on. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some of that little fuzz 
is down. We, we can't get that fuzz down. What if we turn the tone all the way up? That probably won't do anything. sounds pretty good so right now we have the tone all the way up volume like at four o'clock and now we're moving on to the 80s metal distortion the first does the tuner work yes it does so 80s metal distortion here we go Flashback in the wah pedal again. So, we've gone through every pedal, now let's do it with every pedal on. So, wah, chorus, the quintessence harmonizer in D minor, as you can see that gives us the oomph, the TC electronic flashback, the MXR custom badass overdrive, and now finally the 78 distortion.
So yeah, that's what every pedal sounds like with the Dan Electro Honeytone amp. So I just put my guitar down and I noticed that we got this sound now. So every pedal is still on and if we move the wah pedal, right now it's at all the way heel position, but if you slowly move it to the toe, you get like this cool wind effect. If we turn it off, well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this stupid little test. And in retrospect, this is a $20 amplifier. We ran over $600 worth of effects in here, played on what was at the time an $800 guitar. Anyway, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down in the comment section below, subscribe, share this video with your friends, family, neighbors, dogs, Reddits, Tumblrs, Facebooks, Twitters, wherever you want to share it. And I think that's about it. Goodbye! And good night.